Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reacting to There is no place in the NHL for this. I don't know what the video is about, but we are about to find out. Please don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy the content. Comment on what you see next and subscribe for more content. Let's get into it. So it has become pretty evident that the Jets and the Wild are not exactly best pals. This, in my opinion, underrated rivalry has been brewing for years now. The Felino Superman punch a few years oh. back or Dylan catching Felino high last year, which resulted in a full out brawl. But when players begin intentionally trying to injure and admit to it, that doesn't have a place in hockey. For a little context, in March of last season, Logan Stanley fell awkwardly on Kaprizov and resulted in him being injured. The Wild were understandably not happy, and so in the following month when they met again, that's when we had even the coaches going at it. In that game, after Reeves got away with what I would call Damn. a boarding penalty, Whoa. Hartman would add insult to injury after he got Ehlers hard in a hit that resulted in Ehlers getting injured and pretty much missing all of the playoffs. And Shit. this was definitely not a clean hit in my opinion repeatedly i have had wild fans disagreeing with me on he this he didn't even have the poke at the time he was hit i think for it to be a clean hit you must have the puck before they hit you right and he had already passed the puck where the other guy hit him Either way, it did result in a one-game suspension, and Ehlers having long-lasting setbacks that lasted well into this season's preseason. And so with that then, it gets us to this past week. In the first of what was a back-to-back -back meeting between these two, Kaprizov took a couple of cross-checks to the back hip area from Dylan in a play that resulted in him being injured again. He's been out ever since, and that is going to bring up bad memories. So overall, regardless of how dirty you think this hit was last season or these cross checks were just the other night both fans have had plenty to point fingers about and all of that spilled over to the following night right off the bat there was a scrap maroon and lowry dropped the gloves and they settled okay. it so you'd think but just over a minute later in an offensive zone face-off for the jets nemesnikov got tossed and cole perfetti was in and on that face-off hartman caught him up high with a high stick that went uncalled I actually watched this game, and aside from the penalty being missed, I didn't think too much of it. But that then gets us to today. After news came out that Hartman had been fined $4,400, the max allowed, Perfetti in a media scrum had this to say. Well, did he make it pretty clear that he was doing that as retribution for what had happened the day before? Yeah, yeah, he did. He made it pretty obvious, you know, what for, for what happened to Kaprizov there. I mean, he's obviously going to be out for a little bit. That's what he thought he needed to do. So luckily it was just a couple stitches. And yeah, we, I was mic'd up. So <laughs> to come out and blatantly say it to the mic, it was it worked out in our favor. So Hartman, who just two games prior was actually suspended for his nasty slew foot on Debrinket, came up to Perfetti and let him know that the high stick was intentional. That Man. is not a good look. Now, luckily, Perfetti wasn't terribly injured. I'm sure it didn't feel good you know the problem is when you take a stick into somebody else's face what if he happens to be in his eye intentionally and you destroy his eye i understand rivalry and i understand the tension and the emotions and all of that believe me i'm a barcelona fan and back in the day let me not say back in the day as if that was one time ago even 10 years ago or even less than 10 years ago when Mourinho or was still at real madrid when barcelona and real madrid used to play used to get nasty not as nasty as hockey because Hockey is pretty wild, even without the rivalry going on. But yeah, it's wild to me for you to take a stick into somebody else's face, not knowing if you're going to hit his eye. And you know if you happen to break the glass on his uh, his tin and he hits his eye, you, he can lose his eye. And then you admit to it. This is crazy. This is too much. Good. You know, it didn't feel nice. My face was pretty sore, but it's all good now. But regardless, Perfetti is a skilled young player. He's the youngest and one of the smallest guys on the team. To go out Imagine. And then on top of that, he chose the youngest and the smallest guy of the team to do that. Why? Hartman, he's what? I, I saw the beard. How old is he? I'm pretty sure he's way older than the kid. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Go after him, a guy who, by the way, had absolutely nothing to do with these cross checks. Not exactly a tough guy move on Hartman. Yeah, who seems to have move. mastered the art of dirty plays that look unintentional. There's just simply no place in the NHL for it. And with this coming out, people were wondering, did the league know before they find him? And actually, they couldn't have used the tapes, which I actually didn't even know about. So while I would love to have these tapes released so we could hear for ourselves exactly what he said, who knows if we'll ever see them. 
but crazy rivalry here. So their next game in February should be a good one. With that, that's it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. All right, man. Yeah, Hartmann, I don't understand the guy, especially going against the youngest guy on the team and the smallest guy on the team. You want to be tough? Go against the toughest. Go against the strongest and the tallest and show how tough you are. That guy doesn't make any sense. And then, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. This guy is right. You cannot take a stick in somebody else's face. It doesn't matter what rivalry is going on. Because you know, like, to, the, the injury is going to cause in, in his face or whatever happens that is going to be there with him, even outside of the game. So you have to be careful in some situations. I understand the rivalry is going on. The fans are cheering and all of that. You have the adrenaline coming up. You have your... I won't even call a testosterone. Because if you're real testosterone and you are, you really were going on for it, you would have gone for someone bigger than that and someone more experienced in the game than that. But yeah, this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And please like the video, share it if you can.